Hello YouTubers, in this video I'll show you how we can use Arduino for data logging purpose. As an example, I have used the DHT11 sensor which can help us to read the temperature and humidity present in this room and I'm going to log these two values inside an SD card as well as send it serially to the laptop and update it on an Excel sheet as the, va as the value vary in real time. So I have also used a RTC which is a real time clock, the DS3231 module which can provide us with the current date and time so that we can log the value of temperature and humidity with its corresponding date and time. So now let me go ahead and show you the circuit. So this is a circuit diagram and this is the complete code. The explanation for the code as well as the circuit diagram can be found in the link given at the description of this video. I'll just show you how this setup works. So I have already connected all these on my breadboard and I'll show you. So here it is. The connection is already made on a breadboard and the program is already uploaded into the board. As you can see, we have a DS3231 which is an RTC module and here is an SD card module and here is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. So this module is connected to the Arduino via I2C communication and this SD card module is connected via SPI communication. So as said earlier, all the detailed explanations will be given at the link given in the description of this video. Okay, so before we power on the module, let me tell you what should happen as soon as we power it on. So once we power it on, we should have these four values that is the temperature, humidity, date and time should be stored in the SD card as well as we can use the PLX DAQ Excel spreadsheet to log these values live over the spreadsheet as well. So let me go ahead and power it on. So once it's powered on, go to your desktop and make sure to which COM port your Arduino is currently being connected. I know that mine is connected to COM3. If you don't know it, go to your device manager and know to which COM port your Arduino is currently connected. Now go to this PLX DAQ spreadsheet which should have appeared in your desktop as soon as you install the up software called PLX DAQ. So the link for the software will be given in the description of this video. Now click on options and then enable this content and then click on OK again and I know that mine is connected to port 3 and the baud rate is 9600. So click on connect and you should see the values. So sometimes your time might not appear properly. To get it working properly click on the time and then select time over here. So as you can see this is the date and the time that is currently stored on my laptop. It is not using the DS2 the 32 or 31 modules data time so that that value from the ds 32 and 31 is being used to store it in the sd card but i'm just demonstrating to you that you actually don't need a ds 32 31 module to write the time and date over here so currently the time is 8 51 59 so for every five seconds the data is being logged so let me minimize it on one side and open the camera and Yes, as you can see, this value you can monitor lively as well as you can, once the logging is finished, you are satisfied with it, you can save this Excel sheet and draw graphs or whatever you wish to do with it. You can easily analyze the data. Now, okay, now as you can see, there are a lot of variations in the temperature. Let me cut this out. Okay, now let us see if these values are also plotted on to a SD card model. So let me disconnect this or just power it off and remove the SD card from here. The SD card and connect it to your laptop or computer. When you open it, you should see a file called logger cd. Click on it and you should notice that all these values should be logged inside your text file. So this might be confusing for you to take a look at. So you have to export it in an Excel sheet for better view. To do that, just open any Excel. Uh, let me close this and then click on file, open and this is in my disk right now. Select all files and logger.cd. Then click on delimited. Next, we are limiting it by comma. So as you can see, once I click on comma, all these are getting separated into individual 
columns click on next and then finish so now as you can see the values are logged with respect to the date and the time this date and time should have been obtained from the ds3231 rtc module because the arduino doesn't cannot keep a proper track of track of the date and the time so that is it guys you can just uh, modify the date and time or you can just modify at which interval your reading should be getting logged and all those stuff and you can visit the link at the description of this video for the complete explanation of this project so that's it guys thank you